Hey everyone, we're here live. We're sorry we're late. Um, we were having some yay technical difficulties as it happens in the online world, right? First, I couldn't like, she couldn't hear me. I couldn't hear her and then she couldn't see me. Tried a new link. <sighs> this is why we need the Merlot. <laughs> in yeah. The marketing and Merlot. This isn't actually Merlot, it's a cooler, but. Not only that. Are you still there? Did I lose you again? I so hope annoyed. not. So help me God. You do look good, though. Your new camera looks fantastic. I know a new webcam. I'm like clear and crisp. And it looks good. It looks really good. It's so much wonder, better, right? Yeah. What a difference. So and it was did you just on me one day? And I'm like, maybe it's my webcam. Maybe it's not my internet. <laughs> did you just order that from Amazon? Totally. I Googled the heck out of what the best webcam is, and um, the Logitech 920 something something is the way to go. Wow. So I'm quite pleased. So I will, um, yeah, say the spiel, of course, and introduce ourselves while you do the sharing. Hey, and then, good. Um, because of course we, everything's messed up now with the link and stuff like that, I'll have to share it as well. So of course, welcome to Marketing Merlot with Lindsay and Lindsay, so sorry that we're late. I'm Lindsay with smoothbusinessgrowth.com, helping entrepreneurs attract and acquire customers faster through powerful content marketing. And of course, my partner in crime here is the wonderful One Click Lindsay of trafficandleads.com, where the solution to your slow growth is only one click away. So we connect every Thursday night. You know night. all this about me. I feel like we're kindred spirits right I now. I know. Oh. <laughs> um, we have a lot of fun. We love our businesses. We love online marketing. And um, so we connect every Thursday night, 9 EST, with a drink. We share strategies, tips, do's, don'ts for busy entrepreneurs looking to grow their business and have uh, some fun while we're at it, right? Why else? And we That's love right. people that connect with us and um, chat along the way. And we have people. Hi, Jim. Hi, Tim. How are you guys? Awesome. So I will let you chat and tell everyone what the topic of the week is while I do my turn at... Oh. All right, except for it says that the post won't allow me to share it. So you do need to go alter the post. Bastard. I know, I know. I'll tell everyone a little story. I was late because um, there we go. I took my child, or I went to go pick up my older children, and my younger children decided to have a big diaper blowout, and I didn't have any wipes or anything. It was <laughs> awesome. So I'm in oh, the, the bathroom. With poop all over my hands, doing what nice. I can with some paper towels. It was awesome. It was really <laughs> awesome. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, you're like over that stage in your children rearing I life. Know. I went to the movies and took them out for dinner today. It was fabulous because <sighs> it's March break. March, oh, yes. March break. break. Oh, Speaking break. of, because we call it spring break, that's actually the right yeah. word. Uh, do you guys do daylight savings? I I probably should know this. Yeah. I feel like I should know it this. It has messed me up. Okay. okay. Just... Yeah, it's not great. If every no. everybody who hates daylight savings say what what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, branding. I will say. Let me say this about branding. This is going to be a really uncomfortable conversation because I have learned in my 12 year career to really dislike branding. I'm sorry. I, I know. Love it. Let me tell I'm you why. And then right you now. can and then you can do what you need to do. Okay? Here's the thing. Yes, poop is awesome. Tim, you're totally right. Lindsay, start showing some of these awesome comments. Come on, be a producer. Oh, I'm getting there. Mm. Branding is important. Here's my problem with branding. I think branding is important up until like you're like 95% branded. Then that last 5%, I feel, doesn't make as big of a difference as you might think it should. And so many people spend so much bloody time on that last 5%. So yes, you should be branded. You should be calling your customer's name through your branding and all this. I totally understand. But people get so bloody fixated on like 
if this font, which already says you're laid back and cool, <laughs> if it's the laid back and cool enough font, like, come on. Do you that, know what I'm saying, that Lindsay? Can be extreme, yes. But if, and here's the other end of the spectrum, right? And this is my argument. If you go to someone's website, you go to their social media pages, and the coloring, the images it, are completely different. The logos are different. I've gone to some Facebook pages where I'm like, am I in the right place? Like, is this the right business? Do I they completely have three agree. Businesses? Do they have three businesses? Like, I'm so freaking confused. I totally agree. Uh, Peg says, um, I'm glad I found you. We're Yay! glad you found us too, Peg. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so when I say uh, branding, super important. Come up with your logo, your feel, what you want people to experience when they see you or experience your business. Yes, so important. But good grief, it is not going to matter. Like, you, I, I know. there are some, it's funny because I went, one of my clients hired a branding graphic designer, right? So spent a lot of money on super branding. Super expensive, yes. But I did learn a lot of things that I didn't necessarily think of that made me pay attention to so many design elements that from a from just an entrepreneur's perspective, I wouldn't have necessarily thought of. And there were some interesting things. I'm like, oh, I never knew that. Or I- Can you so share was, some examples, please? For sure. So in, so even just creating branding templates, you know, I've created them before and I understand them and stuff like that, but it's almost like she brought a whole new element to the game. So, um, and I'll kind of go through some of the different elements when it comes to branding. So branding is your name and your tagline and how you phrase and how you type your business name and your tagline out in all the different spaces your bio, your unique selling proposition, your avatar, your colors, your fonts, your design, even how you state your website everywhere, here, there, and everywhere. Some people do www dot blah, blah, blah. Some people don't have the Ws. Some people have caps. Some people don't have the caps. Some people, there's so many different ways and you have to be consistent all across the board. Your bio, short, medium, large bio, your, um, so I went through the the fonts, the colors, but even like all of the, your banners, your, um, let's say you have different programs within your company. So you've got different levels of masterminds and they need to have their own separate logos that go with mm -hmm. your, your branding, right? And then it's like, you know, okay, so what kind of graphics do you use in your social media? Are they on brand or are they like, let's say, for instance, when someone's really corporate and serious and blue and, you know, professional. And then all of a sudden there's a picture of something that's cartoony. That's off brand. So even the images that you use, the language that you use. Um, yeah, it's crazy. All the different elements that you wouldn't necessarily you just think color and logo. But it's like all these other little things that are important. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely, I think brand goes even into like how you service your customers, talk on the phone, customer yeah. support, packages, like all of it speaks to branding and it is important. And if you have a good brand, you can definitely command higher prices, definitely. And um, it brings with it a lot of power. Um, the way that I like to view brand as well is I always like to, recommend to customers that they bring in a bit of a personal touch to their brand. And so instead of all these corporate looking oh, logos yeah. or like Instagram now, like I truly believe, and I have personally experienced it, that you need to figure out what can connect you with your customer. Your customer knows what you do, but it's like when you go to a chamber of commerce event and you're like standing awkwardly by someone, you're constantly like searching for a connection. Like, do our kids go to the same school? Yeah. Do, are we both from the same small town in Idaho? And you're trying to connect. So I feel like if you're putting that out in your brand, on your About Us page, in your social media, it gives people a really great way to connect with you. And I feel like that's also part of your brand. The, yeah, the annoying part that I hate is when you're upset about fonts and 
things because that last, like, if you got your brand all the way right and, like, you're not, you know, you're not just perfect on that last 2%, it's, it's not going to no. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. 12 I know. years. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so everyone's, I don't know, maybe heard, I don't know, of, like, branding documents. Yes. So You're going to walk us through it. Do you have an example one? Well, this is because we were having technical issues. I logged into the Be Live that enables you to share your screen, oh, and it wasn't working. I know. So Dang. I just like ah, oh, it's not working. So I had to go into the regular interview style where I couldn't share my screen. So I'm really annoyed. <laughs> Peg is mad at us because our branding's off because we're not drinking Merlot tonight. <laughs> I know. That yeah. is. Very naughty branding. What is that, Lindsay? Looks a little cloudy. Is that beer? It's a strawberry cooler. Oh, very nice. It felt like something cold and refreshing. Fair enough. Sorry. So peeps. what is so let's say um there's a person and they're like, hey Lindsay, make a branding document for me. Then do you like give them a questionnaire? Walk me through that. Because we don't do that at Traffic and Leads. Usually when people come to us, they already have a brand. We borrow, we borrow all their elements. Yeah, I try to, if you ever get a logo designed, a website designed, ask for the fonts and the font files. Hopefully they're Google fonts that are easily accessible and that you don't have to pay for. And um, so then when you use Canva, you can actually import the fonts and use them. So you'll see on my website, I have my Genesis script always in orange. I never have the blue script in um, the blue, Gen I never have that blue. And then my blue is, I can't remember the name of it right now, Antic, I think it is. And that's always in blue. I never have that font in orange. And then that mat, that mirrors my, my logo, right? So I always ask for the logo files, all different types. Try to get their hex codes for the colors if I can. If not, you can backdoor it and figure it out. It's just painful online. Um, same with the fonts. Upload them. Make sure you have logo files that have the tagline, some that don't because those that don't are easier to use on social. Hi, Glenn. Um, Sorry, I'd say hi, Glenn. Oh, hey, Glenn. <laughs> Sorry. Coming up. Um, and um, yeah, the color schemes and stuff like that from the logo. But you can even add complementary colors. I mean, my logo has you know orange and yellow and blue and white. I could have another color in my palette. I choose not to because I feel like I've got enough. But like one of my clients, his logo is black, gold, and silver. But he also has a blue and an orange that are complementary colors in his full marketing palette. Um, so don't feel like you're constricted by just what's in your logo. And then there's the making sure that you've got your bio. Again, small, medium, and short, really well laid out. Your USP, what are your unique selling propositions and your services? For instance on your social media platforms, there are always spots for your about section, your description, your services. You wanna make sure that that language is the same across the board or people are gonna get confused and your messaging. I actually just reviewed a client's website the other day and one of his web pages had his, without calling him out, had his business name, two words were put together and didn't have capitals and some of the three words were separated with like that were capitalized. So it's like, okay, what are you mm. calling your business? You can't have it. These two words are sometimes squished together. These sometimes have capitals. Sometimes they're not. Totally true. Yeah. And, and so it's like on your branding document, you would cover that. This is how my business name is typed out everywhere. This is how my website, like for me, it's smoothbusinessgrowth.com. No www. There's always a capital S capital B, capital G. So that is on my social all the time with the little boat logo, not my whole logo, just the boat. Um, so you have all those rules and situations on your branding document. And then if you're ever working with a VA, oh, I'm gonna put up Jim's comment. Once you have your brand, you need to be consistent um, in its use. Or it can make it difficult to defend if some schmuck tries to copy you. Oh, I like that's it. a good point. I like it. Thank Absolutely. you, Jen. That is so true. Um, I lost my train of thought. Branding document. Points. Bios. 
I'm doing keywords here. Uh, colors. <laughs> Secondary colors. Color what are I saying? Logos. Um, so, oh yeah, I know. So when you hire like a VA, um, a Facebook ad expert like yourself, then you give them that branding document so that there's they no know question. how your website is supposed to be spelled out. What is your bio? Who is your avatar? What is your unique selling proposition? What are the color codes? Otherwise, if they're doing a completely different color code or a completely different graphic on your Facebook ads that are different from your website and the landing page that you have for an offer, it just looks bad. It's like you want to come across as like super polished, professional, like you're competing with the big boys. It just makes you look that much better and you have that much more authority. It just has that whole image, right? I agree. Uh, Glenn says hot dog. I totally I agree. Hot dog. hot dog. Hot dog. Awesome. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about, um, I've had a couple of experiences with branding. I know I'm like really aggressive about branding tonight, but I do have some experience with it. Since you can't share docs tonight, could you provide a sample branding doc? Ooh, in the comments with the webinar replay. Can you, Lindsay? Yeah. Um, I can do some screenshots. I'm not going to give my whole thing away because I okay. do. Okay. How much is it? How much is it? I uh, you can get branding documents for God, like no from you. Dollars. My, from I, you, I 250. Unless it's really elaborate. That's one of my cheap. Clients. I know. that is too cheap. Okay, everyone, go and get branding documents from Lindsay before she raises her prices because that's way too low. I know. I know, but I I love. I don't know why. I just freaking love it <laughs> yeah so let's fine. talk about branding so I had a client who went through this whole branding evolution I think this is probably where my hate for branding came from is that a new glass Lindsay <laughs> no it's just a new drink <laughs> <sighs> she went to a branding professional which yep. I'm not even gonna call myself she spent $10,000. The branding professional, yes. Well, they knew she was going to get a website out of it too, but it was just like a regular website. That's still pretty pricey. <laughs> but the branding professional required that they spent three days together. So she flew her to her house and they like had drinks and had dinner and really got to know, got to know each other. So that when she looked at her website, it was like, oh, that just really speaks to me. Do you know what I mean? That, though, is almost like you're setting up <laughs> above and beyond. Like you're setting up someone's business, like from the ground up with a website. That it, That, to me, is more than just creating a branding document. Yeah, a branding document's important. I feel like when you're creating a brand, you say, who's my perfect avatar? Are they... Are they wild and crazy and ready for some speed or are they like laid back and girly and all these things like pick three or four adjectives, make yeah. sure your website represents that who you're calling call to me. Don't copy everybody. Like literally sit down and think about your avatar, come up with three adjectives, make sure your branding matches that create a branding document and you're good to go. Don't sit around and wonder if this font is really speaking to you. I know, I keep bringing that up, but it's so irritating. Yeah, I'll try to do screen. Jim is, call try Jim to screen is screen. calling you out on your sticker on the bottom of your ass. Let's see, see it, Lindsay. Lindsay. Let's see it. I have tried to take that damn sticker <laughs> off for so long. And it's, oh, actually, it's popping up now. It's not even a new glass. Believe you me, it's, it's well used. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. He's totally giving me a hard time. Um... Yeah. Oh, I just found it. Yeah, I know. I will try to do some screenshots. Uh, I will try to multitask here. Um, the other thing that I love to do for my clients um, incorporated into the branding document is creating social media templates. So you will notice on my website, smoothbusinessgrowth.com. See, you can play that game, Lindsay. Um, <laughs> You're just always <laughs> plugging your stuff. Gosh. <laughs> um, Clearly, Ed Jim Palmer isn't distracting know. everyone tonight. 
Oh, Jim, that's why we love you. Yeah, this is not a podcast. This is a Lindsay and I are meeting I to discuss marketing, and you guys are welcome to listen in. We love it. That's what it is. It gives us great amusement constantly. Yes. Um, see, now, like, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, you yeah. were going to. Oh, yes. Go ahead. So I create templates, right? So for me, I have, there's a few different styles of graphics that I have so that my team will create those graphics for me. Here's how you need to do my social media graphics. I do not want busy pictures. I do not want, you know, I can't even think what I don't want, but I know when I see it, I don't want it. Um, they're very clean, <laughs> very white backgrounds. <sighs> I know. I, I don't like them when they're really busy. I don't, I don't like a lot of text on them. Um, and then also for when I'm a guest on a podcast, I have a very different style image and they are consistent for every show that I'm on. So again, it's having that consistency. Oh, don't, oh, don't be hard on yourself. Well, and you're, you're doing a hundred different things, a hundred different businesses. You learn as you go, man. Yeah. Make sure all this stuff. When I started, it is easier. Glenn brings up an amazing point, which is if you're starting a business, take 30 minutes, come up with three adjectives on how your perfect avatar views you and make sure that's integrated all over. And then like take a minute from your web developer and say, hey, I need the colors, I need the fonts, and I need my logo in a printable format. Like that's literally what you need. Like branding is important, but that's just gonna get you on your way. Right, Lindsay? Is that fair? Absolutely, totally. So I'm three gonna adjectives. Quick... Three adjectives. So I'm gonna quickly do a screenshot. <gasps> of, I know. Come on, Facebook, work for me, that baby. Can only be over for so long, Lindsay. Come on, <gasps> Lindsay. I know. My next I'm is don't that. do that. Oh, don't do that. Dot com. I like it. Glenn, Glenn is the king of really awesome domain names. I'm, How I'm come it won't let me insert a picture in? Um, it won't. No. Freaking Why? Be Live. I'll tell you what the Be Live brand is all about. It's about bugs because I had bugs on my training in the Click Technique. I have free training Tuesdays. Free <laughs> Tuesday. Only won't let me insert a picture. Only an emoji. That's messed Watch up. Watch for it. Watch for it in the comments, Lindsay. Relax. Take three deep breaths. I'm bleeding for anyone who cares. You're bleeding? Yeah. And it probably has poop in it. I'm probably going to die now. Oh my God. If you don't know why it has poop in it, just listen to the first of the conversation. I, I still have a baby. I have a baby. Yeah, that's it. And he pooped. And I wasn't ready. We, like, flew too, way too close to the sun. Hey, you've got yes. alcohol. You can, like, rub alcohol on your hand. <laughs> That's true. I should do that. I did wash my hands, but I feel like, anyway. Yeah. Uh, did you turn it on first? Did I turn what on? What do you think, Glenn? I can't remember what that conversation was. Did you turn it on first? The comment section of Facebook? Oh, I don't know. Lindsay will post a couple screenshots. That's all we ask of you. Otherwise, you guys just need to go to Lindsay, and she'll build you a branding document. I it's super cheap. That's she said 250 That's really cheap. So Canadian. So, Lindsay, um, did I bring you over to my side about how branding can be really irritating? You can go off in the deep end, though, like when it comes to any online marketing thing, right? That's true. That's true. You can. It's just, to me, it's like, think about your logo. Think about your colors and your font, the feel and look of your business, your message, and make sure it's freaking consistent in your landing pages, your website, your print material, your so we social customer media. Like, uh, we use a call service called, I'm bleeding. Where, what, on what Facebook Live are you guys gonna get blood? Blood and guts, and poop. Blood and booze. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not marketing in Merlot, it's blood and booze. <laughs> blood and booze, baby. <laughs> What was I saying? Um, oh yeah, like uh, two fifty. We need to talk. Yeah, Jim, you yeah, don't. I know. So JP's like, screw that. You're you're turning your rates up, lady. <laughs> For real. Um, let's see. What I was going to say. Oh yeah, call Ruby. So we use the call Ruby service to answer our phones. Um, 
as a phone answering service, but all of their branding and like the way when they, when they transfer a call to us, they're very up and happy and fun. And like, when you look at their website, they're up and happy and fun. Right. Yeah. Um, and there are call services that are corporate and, and professional. Right. But my, yeah. you know, but traffic and leads.com, I prefer the more uppy and fun. Right. I'm sure big companies who use a call service would prefer the more corporate. So like, it's definitely, you're calling, you're like a, like a scion calling your customer to come hither through your branding. Don't copy someone's branding. Use your own branding. Think no. about who you are. Absolutely. And don't, and, and this is the other thing. So here's the other thing. <laughs> um, is some people think that being consistent with your templates, your social media graphics, that if it's the same and it's templated all the time, it's going to get boring. Here's one thing that that branding, um, big brand systems, Pamela, can't think of her last name right now, and I call her Pam and she hates it. Oh, I don't know big brand systems. That's what it's called? Yeah, I can't think of her last name right now, but her name is Pamela. She's a freaking rock star. Anyway, so she's like, um, boring builds brands. If you feel like your images for your social media or the look of your worksheets, your eBooks, your landing pages, if you feel like it's boring or other people are feeling like it's getting boring, that's when you start to get noticed because people start to catch on. So if your branding is consistent all the time, everywhere, constantly, then people finally start to recognize it. And that's when you start to get brand exposure or uh, brand recognition. That's fair. And I never thought of it that way. Like if you look at big, Glenn, Glenn look at says, can account. I make payments? Can I make payments? Yes. Lindsay will accept one payment of $250. <laughs> Pimmel Wilson, I a girl. Thank you. Wow, Peg. For the I win. I her every week. You'd think I'd know her last name. For the win. I don't know. Um. Like I said, at trafficatleads.com, people are usually branded when they when they when they come on through and we're able to yeah. just to like glean off their branding and make some magic happen. So if I have any if anyone wants to come to me for branding, obviously you shouldn't. You should go to Lindsay. So So here's a question. Do you create brand you don't create brands over there, right? Do you have someone you recommend to my create? My son just walked into my room. Here. Oh, where is he? Say hi. Where is he? What are you doing? Come here, you hey son. Come here. Come here. No, you came in. You're yeah, you're yeah, done. You are, you are, yeah. son. Oh, Thanks. he's so cute. <laughs> Stand oh. up. Ah. Look, you're live on Facebook now, buddy. Hold on. Give me <laughs> you came in. There he is. Please, look at that yeah. boy. All right, I'll your mom fall short once again. <laughs> Oh, embarrassing kid. This is the best part of the job. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. What a cutie. How old is he? You know what I'm saying his name? How old is he though? 12. 12. It's good age. It's good age. Yeah, he's branding. Oh, anyway, do you have anyone you recommend for branding? Please don't come to me for branding. Obviously, it's not my forte. I it's like naming never... your child too. It's like just name the kid already. Am I right? Right, people. <laughs> it's just a name. <laughs> I don't really know any specific branding companies. Pamela's I know one company. in the Portland area. Her name is Amanda Strong from Strong Design. You can reach out go. to me if you're looking for brand. She's excellent at branding. Um, yeah, I know that much. All right. I yes, Peg. He is such a cute son. Where are my kids? Where's my pooper? He was so cute when he pooped. It was when it was all over the car seat. It was so cute. Uh -huh. <laughs> so glad I'm over that. And then my daughter's eight. I don't know. I'm surprised she's not in here. It's March break, right? So they're normally, if they were like a regular school night, they would be like asleep by now. But March break. I, know. I like it. I like it. All right. Next week, we're talking about podcasting. Now, before we, before we do that, if you guys are like, I am not interested in a podcast, I'm not interested in being a podcast guest, I will not tune in next week. Before you say that, just know when I went to Jim Palmer's dream business event many years ago, I said the same thing. I was like, I don't want to start a podcast. It's super 
not something I'm interested in. I'm going to sleep. And guess what? I run two podcasts now. So no, I was scared crapless. Yes, you have to run a podcast. Thank you, Jim, for introducing me to podcasts. Next week, we're talking all about podcasts from, as Jessica Rhodes would say, from Interview Connections, from both sides of the mic, how to easily be a guest on other people's podcasts because it's yeah. way easier than you think, so, and how to start your own podcast and why you would do such a crazy thing and how Lindsay over there, that Lindsay, can help you with your podcast. Super easy, oh super fun. Um, many years ago, 2015, Adam, you're here. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> dream business. Yeah. Dream. Oh, dream business, business academy. Academy.com. Which is in San Diego in September of this year. Lindsay yeah. and I will both be speaking. I so we'll see, see you again live. live. What? I can't wait to see you again live. I know. <laughs> we'll see you guys there. Hey, you can go out and have an adult adult in marketing in Merlot with me and Lindsay. We'll do it live from DBA. Yes. Yes. It'll be fantastic. Oh, and Adam will Adam be there. Like, oh, Adam's like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so next week, podcasting. Yes. Please tune in because your mind will be blown like mine was at dreambizacademy.com. Adam Thank says you, Adam. no, it's Dream Business Academy. Oh, what did you write? Biz. Oh. Oh, it Don't changed. use the old domain. Oh, he's branding for us now. He is yeah. Jim Palmer's brand guy. And technically, with all the uh, changes that just took place over the past couple of months, with um, some cool web stuff with JP is um, I should probably have known that. JP stands for Jim Palmer for those guys that don't know. You can't call him that only on K. Yeah, you can't call him JP till you become a client of his. <laughs> Which, speaking of JP, Tim, who I believe is watching tonight, I was is, just going to say that. Yeah, if you go over to Dream, Build Your Dream Business Now Facebook group, another free, cool Facebook group, just like the Click Technique free Facebook group. Right, Lindsay? Yeah. Absolutely, sister. Tim, I've never heard that before. What is it, Lindsay? <laughs> what is that all about? <laughs> Jim will be interviewing Tim as a profit seat, and Jim's profit seats are for oh Rizzle, for Shizzle. Yeah. Unbelievable. Like Legit. It's so you need to, oh, actually, he probably, did you do that today, Jim? I don't know if you're still listening or is that coming up? Sorry, I should know. Today I should know I'm probably in trouble because I don't know. Oh, good. So you're not the only one in trouble today. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Okay, next week, podcasting. Lindsay, right. anything else? Oh, let's do our, let's do our sign off. I got to say the click technique one more time before oh, we I sign know. off. Do you want me to start? Go for it, lady, because I'm Will you type in the out. click technique? The click technique? If you go to theclicktechnique.com, you will find a basis for all of your online marketing, a strong foundation so you can have all of these amazing launches and all of this amazing online marketing success if you go to theclicktechnique.com. Just my closest friends. <laughs> Hashtag JP. I saw that. <laughs> Put your... No call me. That's right. Put your email in. Five days. Boot camp. Plus access to my private Facebook group, which is... The coolest Facebook group on the web. I'm sorry, JP. Yours is second. It's and not first. Until I sorry, it's mine. mine. <laughs> until Lindsay creates hers, which hasn't been created yet. I know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, Theclicktechnique.com. Also, trafficandleads.com. Uh, if you need any help, Facebook marketing, SEO, uh, pay-per-click, or funnels, Tying those all together with a nice email marketing. Make sure you reach out to me at trafficandleads.com. If you have any branding needs, do not reach out to me.com. <laughs> Over to you, Lindsay. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Next Tuesday, Jim. So go go join Dream. Build your dream business oh. now. Next Tuesday, Jim will be doing a yes. golden prophecy with Tim Stones from Stones Social Media Solutions. And it'll be awesome. So you have to tune in. Yeah, for that. you have to see Jim and Ashton. He's like, bang, bang, bang. You're like, how's that stuff come out of his head so fast? Yes, it's insane. This is true. And of course, absolutely. If you want to be branded, if you want consistent marketing, whether it's you know your blogs, your videos, your podcast show, social media, email marketing, and then go to smoothbusinessgrowth.com because of course we help you attract 
and acquire customers faster through powerful and consistent content marketing. So yeah, so we are a killer team, L squared. I know, I love it. All right, enjoy daylight savings time for all of our American yeah. and Canadian friends. It's still light outside and usually yeah. I sign off when it's dark. It's my birthday this weekend. Oh, I don't know if anyone what knew are you that. doing? You guys can all uh, sign off. I gotta talk to Lindsay for a minute. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, my husband bought tickets to go see Our Lady Peace and Matthew Good, and it's at like a casino that's an hour away. They have concerts and stuff like that. It's totally cool. And my besties are coming oh. with us and staying overnight. So, and right, where, what's the kid situation? That, what's the what? kid situation? Oh, the kids are coming. The grandparents are coming to look after the kids. Yeah. So that's like I'm my besties. Super jealous. Staying overnight. Poor How? Kid. I'm super jealous. How do, do you gamble? What do you do? What do you play? Uh, no, not at all. I eat and I drink. <laughs> my husband and I have developed a, an amazing blackjack strategy. So. We, yeah, I love blackjack so much, but since I had kids, I haven't played it for a long yeah. time. Mark is awesome. Uh, I'm super gel. He I'm super gel, but I will say, and I'll say this again next week, next Friday, we have Hamilton tickets. That's fun. I know. I'm really excited. Will you join me in fighting uh, hashtag lock the clock? Oh, Adam is so pissed about the daylight savings thing. He's super pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't put that comment on the screen? Because I had a meeting, a joint meeting with Adam this week, and he was pissed. He hates daylight. And I hate daylight savings time, too. But I, I love it because I love you it in the evening playing outside with the kids. You get to do more fun things. You just got to get over three days. It's three days. Oh, Adam, Adam, you hear what she's saying? Up, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble now. <laughs> yes, I understand. And tomorrow I'm going skiing. So wish we're le we're putting oh. the kids in school and the hubs and I are going skiing alone. Love We've that. never spent an entire day alone for seven years. Shut it's going to be, Really awkward. Yeah. yeah. You have not had a day. No. My husband has this thing with like babysitters and oh my God, I don't know. He's weird, like, but it's going to be awesome because I just learned how to snow ski. And so it's going to be so much fun. Um, I like DST. I don't like switching. Lock it on DST, not standard time. That's what Peg says. Thank you, Jim. Good night, Jim. I know it's late there on your boat. <laughs> Seeing the sunset. All right. Thank you, folks. I can't believe it's quarter to 10. Where'd that time go? I know. We'll see you guys next week. Talk about podcasting. Yes. Yay. Bye. Bye.